Hello, Digital Educator, and welcome to this continuing series of visible learning strategies for digital instruction. And in this video, we're going to be talking about one very, very important topic uh, that leads to teacher clarity, and that is checking for understanding via the chat. So this has an effect size of 0 0.75, not necessarily the strategy, but leading to these practices that promote teacher clarity. So quick introduction about teacher clarity and about checking for understanding. And so one of the things that I would talk to my teachers a lot about with objectives, uh, with checking for understanding is over the course of a whole period, you're going to say thousands of words and beyond stress in your voice, beyond repetition, how are kids going to know that those words that you just said are some of the most important words you're going to say for the whole lesson? Directions are certain that, that way because if you push kids off, to an independent activity to do things they don't understand, then all that time is lost. It is also one of the basic tenets of the effective teaching strategy, uh, APL, and what they promote. And so it's one of those things that we can have a positive transfer and correlation over, but not in a direct manner. We need to adapt it and not do it in the exact same way that we would in person. So we need to make sure that all students understand the directions. So. And the kind of the thing with APL effective teaching is that we use accountability through wait time and calling on a, a random person in order for that to happen to make sure that everyone knows. But with an online instruction and the tools that we have in front of us, it no longer needs to be accountability through waiting and perhaps you're going to call on me. Everyone has to do it. As I said, this works best and only with synchronous instruction. And this is great for any time that you're going to be inside of the application and extension of knowledge segment of a lesson because you're going to be doing things before you push kids off in order to do things with the content that they've been provided. We need to check with what those understandings are going to be. And so the huge, huge, huge concept that we have here is that the chat that some people don't like, some people uh, try to get the chat turned off, which is absolutely ludicrous in my opinion, is an integral tool for student engagement, cognitive and emotional engagement when it comes to the instruction of our kids. And so we need to use the chat feature as such that it is an integral tool. So here's a three-step way that we can go ahead and chat check for understanding. You state the directions, what you want the kids to do, pretty obvious. Next, tell all students that you want for them to summarize, restate, um, retell the directions of what you just asked and put them into the chat. And then finally, you're viewing what's going on inside of the chat or you can use a moderator to view what's inside of the chat and highlight those answers that are correct, that have the correct answers because we're getting those repetitions that are in. But anyone that's off course is going to um, be able to be corrected by you as a teacher. And the great part about the strategy is too as well is that some of those students that weren't paying attention that they can go ahead and read their peers' responses so they can get on the same page. It doesn't take having to repeat the directions over and over and over again. And so this strategy really came to me over the summer as we had a, a speaker that was talking and would push us off into breakout rooms and get there and everybody would be like, um, what are we supposed to do? So not only just checking for understanding, but delineating out out of all of those things that you've done said over the course of the, the online session that these are very important and I need to check on them. So you can use a chat for that. And this is a very, very simple method to put things out there, but it's also great to keep kids engaged. Yes, they have to be accountable, but it also shows what it is that they're understanding. And furthermore, beyond that, it is developing our ability to use the chat tool as a means of responding, one, but two, for engagement, building in those intentional aspects of having kids type things into the chat to interact instead of having it just be to raise your hand and use your voice in order to do that. Does this need to be adapted for younger kids? Yeah, absolutely. It's not going to work as well. It's going to be for middle school, high school kids best, but it is an absolutely stellar technique that I hope that you'll check out.